set up on the attack Baby, I'm bad I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm mad Do it, no cap Only got one shoe, better go live it up Cash in the bag Stadium pack Baby, I'm bad What's good, you guys? It's your girl, Cece, a.k.a. Cecilia Robinson, a.k.a. CC Reacts. And I want to thank each and every one of you for tuning in with me today. Before we get started, I need for you guys to like, subscribe, and share. Please like the videos if you're watching the content. Please subscribe to the channel if you want more content from me. And please spread the love. Please share the videos. I appreciate each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart. Listen, each one of my videos are in chronological order. So if you feel like you've missed the episode, you've missed something, or if you're new here, please go back, hit the playlist, bring yourself up to speed. I guarantee you, you will not be disappointed. Now, I hear a lot of people asking me, Cece, can we get more content? Cece, can you make longer videos? Cece, 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 Cece. Listen, more content is here. The Sea Hive is available to each and every one of you. All you got to do is sign up. If you need a link, just say, hey, Cece, I need a link. I'll be Johnny on the spot dropping the link now check this out I have some podcasts coming to YouTube yes I do where would they be they won't be on this channel I have another channel called cooking with CC and this is where the podcast will be listen if you have not subscribed please go subscribe to the channel so you can check me out listen until then y'all sit back relax and enjoy this fire fire episode y'all be smooth Bye. Y'all listen. Um, laying down there on the floor, I barely slept. You know what I'm saying? For one, I got peaches. She, 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 she constantly breathing in my face. She won't leave my side like she my support animal. Another thing, every time then they turned over on that bed or moved on that bed, I want to sit up and see what she doing. I don't trust her. You know what I'm saying? I want to make sure I can see my purse that she ain't tiptoeing around. I don't trust her. You know what I'm saying? I want to make sure she ain't going out the room trying to get to shake. I, well, I don't trust her. It is what it is. And, and it's, it's horrible being in a household with people you don't trust. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 look, look, my nerves was bad. My nerves was bad. On top of that, the floor was hard as hell. You know what I'm saying? My bed was sofa behind the wall. I, 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 this is not what I signed up for. It's, it's so not what I signed up for. Um, um, I toss, turn, look, peek, grab all night long. You know what I'm saying? All night long, all night long. I was so happy when the daylight came so I could go ahead and get up and start moving around. You know what I'm saying? I went in the kitchen. I got to be honest with you. Uh, pulled me out some little turkey bacon and me some, some, some turkey sauces and some eggs while everybody up there licking their chops and everything. Thinking I'm finna make them something to y'all. I'm not making y'all a damn thing. You know what I'm saying? Y'all should be up making me some breath. Y'all done told my damn house up. You know, I'm not making nobody nothing. This, this ain't a family reunion. This ain't a family gathering. You know, this ain't a family breakfast time. I'm not thinking about nobody. Y'all think about y'all gonna pay for this damn door. That's what you think about. You know, I was blue. It is what it is. I made me some breakfast. I sat there at the counter. You know what I'm saying? And why everybody else up stirring up and they walking past one another not speaking and everything. I'm not speaking to them. You know, I'm waiting on the mind to call me. I have to call work and call off because I don't, I don't, I, I can't trust them uh, uh, enough to be civil while I'm at work. So now I got to figure this situation out. You know what I'm saying? Um, and plus, I got to get the door fixed. Finally, a mind calls me and tell me he's on his way to the building. I told him, okay. I say, look, I said, whatever you see when you get here, you know, I said, we'll discuss and I'll pay for it. You know, um, uh, 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 which I shouldn't have to. You know what I'm saying? See, this is what happens. People who don't never have no money, who don't got no damn money, I always destroying some. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So I eat my food and everything. Then I go up and then get myself ready for when I might get them. You know what I'm saying? Put on some clothes, look decent. Uh, try to look like a civilized human being. You know, bags under my eyes, whatever, whatever, whatever. And once again, I'm walking around tight-lipped because I ain't got nothing to say to these heifers. You know, um, 
I go ahead and get dressed on me on a little jogging outfit, and I, I go back up in the in the in the, the living room slash kitchen area. I sit up on the counter and I wait on the mod to get there. You know what I'm saying? Twenty minutes later, mod pulls up. Uh, he come in. I can hear him out in the hallway saying, "What the hell?" You know what I'm saying? Because you walk right in. You can walk right in. The whole damn door out, out, off, off the, 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 the lock part is kicked off. You know what I'm saying? And then I hear him knocking on the, the, the apartment door, the, the other tenant apartment door. You know what I'm saying? And he talking to him. I can hear them. You know what I'm saying? He asking him, what happened? What happened to the door? And he, I can hear the man say, she got some people down there. You know, I don't know who they is. He said, but they wild as hell. You know, he said they real wild. So he thank you, thank you, thank you. And they talking about whatever they talking about. Then he come on to the door. And now I got to get prepared. You know what I'm saying? My heart to sink down to my cooter cat because I don't know what he's going to say to me. And and, and the kids, they it, it's, it's above them. You know what I'm saying? They don't even give a damn. It's like what, what this man going to say, what my landlord is going to say, it's not even registering in their head. You know, I see how they how they just walking around, walking past, and you know, uh, uh, putting stuff in their little bags, and they don't give a damn. And when you don't own nothing of your own, or you don't have anything of your own, you don't care. That's why it's so easy for a kid to walk around your damn house and see a piece of paper on the floor and not pick it up. Because they feel like even though they live there, it's not their house and they don't have to do nothing. Or they walk through your house and won't wash a dish, even though they sorry ass got to sit up there and eat. You know what I'm saying? Kids are a trip. Kids are a trip. It just is what it is. Have it go, Amar gets to the door, he knocks on the door. Boom, boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? Now, three of us. Me, you know what I'm saying, my handsome daughter, Brianna, and Shay Shay, we got to go over there to the door, and we got to hold the door, you know what I'm saying, and pull the, the knives out the hinges of the door, you know what I'm saying, out the little woodwork of the door, because that's how the damn door is standing up, you know what I'm saying, and then we got to let the damn door down like it's a bridge, you know, and place it on the floor, it, it, can't, it can't put to the side, we got to place it on the floor, and my mouth is wide open, wide open, you know what I'm saying? He don't even want to step on the door because it, it's kind of feel like it's disrespectful. Wait, what happened? You know what I'm saying? I don't have a lie for this one. I don't have a lie. Only thing I can't tell this man is the truth. I got my daughters down here from Chicago. They stay here? Yeah, they stay here. This apartment isn't big enough for all four of y'all. I absolutely understand. I was looking for another apartment. You know what I'm saying? He, you been looking for another apartment? I say, yeah. I say, me and my, my daughter, I point to Nene. I say, we got to move. I say, my, this daughter, she's going to take over this lease. We gonna, I'm going to leave this apartment to her. He said, well, didn't you, don't you think you should have talked to me first? I absolutely should have talked to you first. You know what I'm saying? He tell me what happened to the doors. You know, I say, well, they got into an altercation. And one of my daughters, I didn't say which one. You know what I'm saying? But I'm pretty sure you know which one. Because she over there looking like a damn uh, a pup, pup, uh, uh, bro, dungeon dragon. You know what I'm saying? Huh? I'm pretty sure he knew it was her who kicked the doors down. You know what I'm saying? He tell me, he said, you know this is going to come out your security deposit. I, I absolutely know. You know what I'm saying? I know. I'm sorry. Listen. Do what you got to do. But please don't put me out. I need my crib. You know what I'm saying? He said, I'm not going to put you out. He's saying, if you're looking for another apartment, he said, I got other properties. If you, if you, you know, you want to stay with me. I said, I said, absolutely. I said, that'll be easier because truth be told, y'all, I done put in applications for other apartments. But the thing is, I have a background. You know what I'm saying? People not trying to let me up in their crib. Then I got a kid with me too. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they not on that. They just not on that. And then Pittsburgh, the way Pittsburgh is situated, if you got like a record or some stuff, they want you on one side of the, of, of, the, of, the, of the city. It is what it is. North. They love when you got records on North. Damn near everybody over there got a record. You know? Have it go. He tell me, he say, look, he said, I'm going to get this door fixed. And he said, when you ready to look at this apartment? I said, I could look at it today. He said, okay. He said, after I get them set up with, you know, uh, uh, you know, to, to fix the doors, he said, I'm going to take you around there. I told him, no problem, thank you. He go ahead and he leave, you know what I'm saying? When he leave, he called me back on the phone. I answer the phone, you know, what's up, you know, what's up, my? He said, me, he said, look, he said, I ain't want to say this in front of your kids. He said, but your kids going to get you sent back to prison. I say, what? 
He said, yeah, he said, look, he said, you you a parolee. He said, you can't be around all that. He said, and I know that's not something you want to hear. He said, but if they don't get themselves under control, he said, they're going to jeopardize your freedom. And he was absolutely right. You know what I'm saying? I was precious cargo out here, damn it. You know what I'm saying? I was precious cargo. You have to take care of me. And they did not th think like that. They didn't care. You know what I'm saying? I don't even want to say they didn't care. They just didn't realize how serious this this situation was. You know, have it go. He go ahead. He get the dudes to come over there to, you know, the maintenance people to come over there and fix these doors. You know, um, and he come back. He come back when they was almost through. He asked me, was I ready to go around them? I told him, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I said, how far is he? He said, it's just right around the corner. Listen, we leave up out of there. We don't get in his car or nothing. We walk down to the corner and turn. You know what I'm saying? We walk down to the corner, turn. Uh, we make a, we walk, we come, when we come out of my building, we bust a left. When we get to the corner, we bust another left. You know what I'm saying? And we walking down a block that I done seen a thousand times. And we get to the middle of the block and we stop in front of a house that I've looked at a thousand times, always wondering who the hell lived there. You know what I'm saying? Why I wonder who lived there, it's the way the house is made. It's like 10 steps going up to the to the landing of the, the, the sidewalk for the house. Um, it, It's a winding sidewalk that go around to the side of the house. Then you walk up the stairs. It's like five stairs, which is the porch, and you go in the house. You know what I'm saying? So I say, this yours? He say, yeah. Now, the thing is, when you look out my, my apartment, when you look at my apartment, when you look past the, 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 the band of building, you can see a glimpse of this, this house. You know what I'm saying? It's like my apartment is right in the back of this house on the opposite block, if that makes sense. Um, so he go ahead, he get the key, and he open up the door. And even though this uh this house wasn't uh uh the newest thing on the the market, the most updated thing on the market, it was good enough for me. You know what I'm saying? The paint was decent. Um, it was gray up in there. The carpet was yucky as hell. You know what I'm saying? I needed the the carpet clean. You know, uh, but the the everything in there was okay. You know, he tell me he say, listen, he say it's a living room. It's a kitchen. Kitchen was big as ever. It was a counter that wrapped all the way around the wall. Um, it was two bedrooms, two nice size bedrooms, two nice size closets. The bathroom was so pretty to me. It was an old fashioned bathroom, but it was big. It was a cloth foot tub. Um, the shower curtain thing wrapped all the way around. It was some like some little antique stuff. You know what I'm saying? It, it kind of put you in the man of Ghostbusters. Remember when Ghostbusters, when the tub was like, Rrr! and they was trying to eat the baby, ah, all that. When Ghostbusters, okay, that's how that tub was, you know. But the paint in there was an ice gray. I can do this. You know what I'm saying? I can do this. He tell me, he said, well, the rent is the same as around the corner. He said, you got a basement downstairs too. He said, it's still some stuff downstairs in that basement. He said, but you will be responsible for cleaning out your own basement. He say, um, another thing. He say, you got, um, he say, this, this house sits on an acre of land. Now, it's a big, 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 big lot. You know what I'm saying? Full of grass. A grassy lot in the back of this house, which is my backyard. You know what I'm saying? He said, I'm responsible for cutting all that. He said, if you don't cut that grass, he said, the city going to find you. I said, that's fine. He said, so you got to keep the front cut. You got to keep the back cut. You know, now he take me to the back door so I can see this. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking. Automatically, I see something I don't like. The damn neighbors got their Rottweilers running freely out there because this lot is not, it's not fenced in. You know what I'm saying? So I told him, I said, so I'm responsible for cutting that, but I can't go out there. He said, you can always tell the neighbors to keep their dogs up because he said technically he said this is going to be your property you know what i'm saying i say okay 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 have it go um i'm looking out I, we close the door and i'm looking out the windows you know looking at looking at what's finna be mine looking at what's finna be mine and i noticed something it, it's something that's trying to get up under the house now it's big um um from an untrained eye it look like a damn beaver you know what I'm saying? Then it look like a mole. Then it look like a groundhog. Hey! Hey, hey! What is this? That's it's, it's digging up under the house. What is Is that a rat? You know what I'm saying? He tell me, he say, no, that's Rodney. I say, Rodney? He say, yeah, Rodney. He said Rodney been living here about 15 years. I say, well, do Rodney pay rent? You know what I'm saying? Because that's a rodent. That, I don't want a rodent under my damn house. 
You know what I'm saying? He started laughing. He say, if you want to, he say, you can, you can, you know what I'm saying? Call the people and see if they could catch him. He's, he's a, he's a, a groundhog. You know, he's not a ground. He's like a mole or something. I don't know what he was, y'all. He was just too damn big. He was the size of a chihuahua. You know, and he's digging and his back is big. So Rodney been eating the hell or whatever he been eating. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he was like, but the other, you know, the other people who stayed there, they didn't have a problem with him. Well, I have a problem problem with Rodney the Roten. You know what I'm saying? Rodney need to go on about his damn business. He tell me, he say, hey, he say, once you sign your lease and I give you your keys, he say, whatever you want to do. You know, I told him, I say, okay, cool. I say, so... You cool with my daughter taking over the other lease? He said, can she afford it? You know what I'm saying? I say, yeah, she can afford it. I say her and her girlfriend, I say they both got jobs. You know, they can, they can afford it. They been saving their money, this, that, and that. He told me, he said, okay. He said, listen. He said, you got six months of extra rent. Now, y'all remember, a while ago, I was telling y'all, I always pay, even though I pay my rent up, I still pay money just in case something happens. Well, I had $4,800. You know what I'm saying? He tell me that's for six months. So I can get my keys. You know what I'm saying? That's going to be transferred over here to this new place. And I live there for rent free for six months. It's not rent free, but that, that double extra money. See, look at God. This is what happens. You know what I'm saying? That money transferred over here. My daughter, however, she will start her lease out brand new. She got to pay a security deposit. You know what I'm saying? Um, she got to pay the security deposit and she start her rent. No problem. He tell me, he say, we're going to go back around there. Talk to your daughter. You know what I'm saying? Make sure this this everybody got an understanding. He say, and I'm going to get the leases drawn up. Get your keys together. And just like that, boom. You know what I'm saying? I had a new crib. Now, here's the thing. Uh, I, I needed beds. Because I wasn't taking nothing from the apartment. I didn't want to put my daughter in a position where she had to start all the way over. She could have everything up in there. Everything up in there was practically brand new. You know what I'm saying? My couches, uh, dishes, everything. She don't got to get nothing. TV, radio, y'all already know. JD put out and we got all my stuff. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, so, so she can have all that. I'm gonna start from the bottom, which is cool. So once um he bring the leases and everything back around there, we sign them. I get my keys or whatever. She, uh, Shay Shay was ready for me to go. You know what I'm saying? She ain't give me no damn time to go clean the place. She ain't give no time for me to go order no furniture, no nothing. It is what it is. I understand. She want didn't want to spend another a uh, minute in the house with with Nene. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? So what I do is I get go ahead and get a lift. Me and uh, 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 Nene, we go on up to Walmart, get a whole bunch of cleaning supplies and everything. I go ahead, get an air bed. Um, me and her can sleep on the air bed until I go get us some beds. You know, um, we, we're about to make a, a go of it. It is what it is. Brand new start. Fresh start. More space. Two bedroom house. This all of us. You know what I'm saying? We go ahead to Walmart, get everything we need to clean and to sleep for the night. Tomorrow, I'll go get us some beds. You know what I'm saying? We take all the stuff back to the house. Uh, Y'all listen, check this out. We cleaning and everything. We clean all upstairs, you know. Um, I go ahead, I call up a carpet company, um, seeing how much, trying to quote, you know, how much this carpet going to be to replace or trying to get somebody out there to clean the carpet. Get that stuff set up. You know, we clean it, clean it, clean it. So we go ahead, me and Nene, after we clean all the upstairs the best we could, you know, we go ahead, we're going to head down to the basement and see what we got going on down there. Mad you, he tell me that he already told me that it's other stuff that down there in that basement. I tell Nene that it was something crawling, you know, trying to crawl up under the house. So I don't know if he in the basement or not. And she already kind of, ah! Now, here's the thing. I don't like basements. You know what I'm saying? I don't like basements because I don't know what type of energy and stuff is down there. It just is what it is. So I got the little broom and everything. I done tie my hair up. You know, I got my weave in. I don't need no spiders or nothing getting up in my damn head or whatever. You know, I'm telling Nene, you got to be cautious and all this other stuff. You know what I'm saying? Now, you got to understand something about my kids. My kids are scavengers. They're explorers. They're thrifters. You know what I'm saying? At a point in time, I used to be a thrifter. But I learned not to do, mess with people's stuff because people have energy attached to their stuff. Use stuff. So I, 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 I stopped doing all that type of stuff. I want stuff new. You know what I'm saying? Have it go. We going down in the basement. I'm trying to see how much of this stuff we can take out tonight or tomorrow what we got to do. 
You know what I'm saying? So we go ahead on down there and I'm being careful because, you know, my imagination takes over and arachnophobia, you know, the queen spider, she's trying to get me and all this other stuff. So I'm looking around at, at the thing. Now, the basement isn't a finished basement. It's got the wood planks and all this other stuff. Now, we're getting down there and I'm looking around, I'm looking around, I'm looking around. And it's like, it's it's two sides to this basement. It's a bathroom down there, but that's not finished. Um, But it's buku stuff down there. Buku stuff down there. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about it's so much stuff. It's shoes, it's clothes, it's 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 uh uh mannequins, all type of stuff down there. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of creepy to me. Have it go, you know, Nene done went her way in this basement and she's looking through stuff, she's messing with stuff. And me, I got this broom because I'm trying to make sure and no spider nets. No, you know, I I wanna y'all, I'm 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 obsessed. Well, arachnophobia. I want to make sure we, we got to sleep that night. I want to make sure ain't none of this stuff finna get a hold to us. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm, I'm going through stuff and I'm making sure I'm not touching stuff. I hear Nene say, Mom, what's this? You know what I'm saying? So I'm telling her like I don't know and I hear her talking in the background but I'm still looking for what I'm looking for which I don't know nothing. I just know it's a damn a spider nest down there. You know what I'm saying? So she, mom, what is this? What is this? I turn around y'all and my, 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 my heart said bling, 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 bling. And went through my cootie cat and fell out on the floor and rolled like a damn bowling ball and you heard the pins fall. Blue. You know what I'm saying? She, what she have in her hand, she got an urn. It's an urn. I don't give a damn. She got an urn, and, and she done opened it up, and she got some of the dust in her damn man. Oh! I scream. She drops the urn. Ashes go everywhere. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, why is you touching that? She don't know what it is. Then I look up, and there's seven other urns land up on a, 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 a ledge. And I'm realizing everything in this damn basement belongs to somebody that deceived. Who? Oh! The house haunted. Bitch, come on. Let's go. I start running up the stairs. You know what I'm saying? I don't play with the deceased. You know what I'm saying? I don't play with the, oh, you done put the body on the damn ground. We come up the stairs. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, when we get up the stairs, you know, she done ran too because she don't know what the hell going on because I'm crazy. We get up the stairs. We lock the basement door. And she, what happened? I said, nothing there. I said, what you had in your hand was an urn that somebody burnt up and they put them in there that say ashes. She, ah, ah, and she want to go wash her hands off. You know what I'm saying? They got to wash the body off the hand. Bitch got body on the hand. Uh, and I'm thinking to myself, you know, in my head, my imagination goes, wow, you done disturbed disturb them. You know what I'm saying? Now they finna be in here with us. I'm very freaky about that. I don't like stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? I be like, if I look at a house and go somewhere and I feel some energy, I'm leaving up out of there because I believe in ghosts and stuff. You know? And I'm thinking to myself like this is not what I want to do. So I'm thinking to myself, now you know what I'm thinking to myself I call Shay Shay. You know what I'm saying? To see if we can go back around there you know, uh, uh, until to, to, to the un, un, un to the um, the 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 um, the the, the, the stir is not disturbed no more. I call Shay Shay. She don't answer the damn phone. You know what I'm saying? She don't answer the phone, and I'm so blue. So we don't got no choice but to 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 to, 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 to sleep. You know there. Go ahead and blow up the, the air bed, you know. We go take us some showers and everything. I have bought new towels and stuff. We go take us some showers and everything. And I'm thinking to myself, she going to have to answer the phone because I still got to go around and get all my clothes. We got to move the stuff in. You know what I'm saying? I'm calling and texting her. She not answering the phone, not answering the phone, not answering the phone. However it go, we just have to call it a night. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we go ahead. Maybe we got the air bed in one of the bedrooms, the master bedroom, which is my bedroom. Uh, we got the air bed. Um, the damn cat still around there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we we lay down and we we it's dark up in there and I I hear footsteps, y'all. Footsteps, doom doom doom. Walking across the, the the roof. Footsteps, doom 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 doom. Walking across the roof. Doom, 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 doom. Walking across the roof. Go on ahead. I get up. You know what I'm saying? I tell them now I say somebody on top of the roof. They're trying to get in here. They're trying to get us. Now, here's the thing. When you got somebody crazy, talk to somebody else that's crazy. All y'all gonna come up with was crazy ass conclusions. You know what I'm saying? And in our heads, I, I, done, I done set her off. She already crazy as hell. She thinking somebody trying to come in to get us. You know what I'm saying? We go ahead, we run outside. You know, we done grabbed us some brooms and a mop. We gonna go outside, we gonna handle some business. You know what I'm saying? We run outside, there's nobody on the roof, y'all. There's nobody on the roof of this house. Nobody. 
but it's footsteps clear as day on, on, on this road. And I'm thinking to myself, we done got a hundred damn house. You know what I'm saying? We done got a hundred house. We, 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 we done got a hundred house, y'all. So I'm, I'm not going back up in there. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to sleep back up in there. Have it go. I go ahead on the round to, 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 I tell them that, come on. We're going to go back around to Shay Shay's house. She not answering the phone, but I know she there. We're going to knock on the door until she answer. You know what I'm saying? Listen, we walk back around to, to, to Shay Shay's apartment. You know, uh, knock on the door, knock on the door, knock on the door. Shay Shay don't come to the door, calling her phone. She don't come, she don't answer the phone. But the dude in the first apartment, he come and he open the door. You know what I'm saying? He got tired of me knocking. Listen, y'all, I go on here and walk down to 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 Shay apartment. You know what I'm saying? Now mad you like you can't tell nobody what to do in their space. You know what I'm saying? But it's just certain things as a parent you don't want to hear. I hear the I'm distraught because I that's something I never want to hear. You just some things you just don't want to hear in life. And that's one of them. You know what I'm saying? We get back around there, get back around there, and we go in the room, and I'm like, we're gonna have to pray. You know what I'm saying? We gotta pray that 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 whoever you disturb, you know what I'm saying, go on ahead because they know we in this house. Have it go. We you know, we lay down and I'm praying, I'm praying, I don't know no prayer. Our father in heaven. In, in the Muslim name, and, and Jesus, we all know this. You know, I need you to come down here, you know, with your black Air Force Ones on and stomp out the ghost that's in this house. You know, Jesus, help us. You know, we're praying. We're praying. You know, finally I go here, I pray myself to sleep. Pray myself to sleep. Pray myself to sleep. Now I'm tired because I didn't get much sleep the night before. You know what I'm saying? So as I'm sleeping, I feel something crawling crawling with little little paws you know crawling up me and I'm thinking to myself why do this cat keep wanting to crawl up me and then a little voice in my head is like bitch you ain't bring no cat around here I open my eyes and I move my head and it's a big ass rat it's a big ass rat it's the rat so the ah! I jump up when I jump up. You know what I'm saying? It's an air bed, so I can't get my. I feel like I'm in a bouncy house. Uh, Nana don't know what's going on. She, what's wrong? What's wrong? Oh! Ah! Now when I jump up, I throw the cover. Now he's still on the cover, and you hear him smack the wall. Y'all listen, listen. Y'all stay tuned. Y'all stay tuned. Bye.